For these creative process videos, I literally just hit record without an idea of how I'm going to put them together, so I never know when to do the intro, but we're somewhat at the beginning of this project, so welcome to Creative Process Episode 3. <laughs> So here's the deal. I have an entire storyboard for this particular video. And I spent hours putting it together. I might completely ditch it. I don't know. That is the reality of the creative process. These types of thoughts happen to me often. I do something, I feel great about it. I film something, I start to doubt it. I start to wonder, I start to wrestle, and then I want to give up, I want to procrastinate. But in the end, you guys usually don't see any of that. And you guys typically just like the video that was produced and got the message. And I have to remind myself that's what's important. And on top of that, I'm continuously learning that producing more quantity of something will lead to better quality. I really like quality. I really want my work to always be of utmost quality. And while wanting utmost quality isn't a bad thing, I'm starting to learn that the repetition of creating will ultimately get me to the quality that I'm actually seeking and the opportunities that I'm actually looking for. So this is where I'm at, and we'll see what I come up with in the end of this video. <laughs> I will say I am actually super proud of the first scene that I filmed though. I think I actually got the lighting exactly how I wanted it to be. So on that note, why don't we watch me film the first scene and then you'll see what I end up doing next. So I, this is what I want to do is I want to create a side light on you so that there's a really harsh shadow on the other side of your face. But then I got to create an eye light. This is me just thinking out loud. Lighting is very underappreciated and like almost the last thing people learn in filmmaking. And it's the thing that makes your shots look the best. So pretend like I'm here and that's where you're gonna mostly be looking. So while I'm trying to figure out this light on your face, okay, you know what I don't love? Just a straight white wall behind your head. It's ugly. So I either change the angle, let's see. So I think, can you sit here for me? But sitting still looking this way? This way. Yeah. Yeah, that might be what I want. We're getting closer. Now I'm gonna make sure I can get the light directly on this side of your face. I'll get a backlight on the back of your head. Yay, exciting things. So let's see, make this 5600 to match that light. This is called atmosphere in a can. Atmosphere in a can. Yeah. Bring it down a little bit. Catch it, catch it. I need to make some more changes. I think that this light's too intense. So what we're gonna do is use my other light. Now this is a bigger source, so the light will be a lot softer. And I think I might need a softer look for what I was going for, even though it's gonna spill into the background. This is better, this is getting better. See how it makes that darker? Whoa, that's you see that? because we're absorbing the light. So it gets the more dramatic effect that I want. The point is to get this as close to you as possible and out of frame still. Um, face your body this way a little bit more. Yeah, lean forward and look to the side and up a little bit. Whatever is the most comfortable for like this type of position. I like that. I like when it's shaping the light that way. Okay, I think that I'm really blocking my behind the scenes camera. This is the life. <laughs> we bend stick this way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what I need. How do we do that? Honestly, maybe just like that. So what I'll do is, sorry if this is close to your head. Maybe if I just clamp that onto there. That's super good. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm getting the look that I'm, I was trying to achieve. Look up that way for me again. I'm just wondering if I want to bring more color into your eyes. Yeah. So I'll say it with you. I'm going to say 10,000. You're like 10,000. 10, what? Is it 
Oh, you want me to do it right? No, that was, that, yeah, and then that, but that was a perfect inflection. That's why I shook my head. That. But pretend you are looking at somebody okay. and you're kind of interacting with them. So you don't have to be perfectly still. Yeah. And you can even like maybe shift your head down and back up to look at them. Yeah. Okay. 10,000. 10,000 what? 10,000 subscribers? Two more exactly like that we're done. 10,000. <sighs> Good job. Yay. All right, here's our setup for the day. We have this huge soft box. It's a huge source of light acting as the key light on this side of her face. And we've got an Aperture MC back there. That is the hair light. So it lights up just these little fuzzies back here uh, to separate her from the background. And then this big light was bouncing off of my big white wall over there. So I brought in this and flagged off uh, just right above her head because I'm not showing the top of her head in camera and that's creating this really dark wrap on her face. So you can see we actually have the Rembrandt triangle on her face right there. And when she looks up to the right, we catch an eye light, as you can see there, from this big light and that actually separates her light, her face from the darkness. And then I held one more Aperture MC up just like this to bring in a little bit more light on her face to catch in those in, in her eyes. So you can see, okay, you can see that Rembrandt triangle in her, on her face right there and how her eyes are catching that big light from the key light. But I took my Aperture MC and just wrapped in a little bit light on her, more light on her face to bring in a little bit. So here's without and here's with it. So yeah, that's the lighting setup that we got for the day. was a lot of unnecessary work. I can solve my issue by just not being lazy and putting the plug on this side of the wall. So it's a lot harder to set this up on yourself. Because I could see with her I could see where her eye light was hitting, but I can't really see mine. So I have to record. Let's see. I actually kind of like that lighting. It's a little bit different from hers because it's a little bit more side light than wrap light. And my, her far eye was in focus. My close eye will be in focus. I'm going to try it. 10,000 people who are unique, creative, quirky, kind. So I have a tendency to overshoot. Like, just film way too much. So I'm gonna take a look at it, see what I think, and uh, see if I have to reshoot it. So uh, I'm doing something a little maybe too sketchy right now. I'm uh, hanging my camera off of my ping pong table. <laughs> a little bit of elevation right there to get a downward angle so I can film both my hands interacting with each other. It just looks so good, what can I say? Don't hate me for it. Hi guys, in the office right now, working on the video, and this video definitely did not follow the storyboard. It took a turn I did not expect, but here we are. And I can feel myself at this moment being at my creative limit. And what I mean by that is there are things that I wanna do that I actually cannot execute. I don't have the ability and I don't have the resources. And where does that put me? Of course, it can easily bring you into those thought processes of like, I'm not where I wanna be. I can't actually accomplish this and I can't make it. All of those things. What I'm doing to combat that is the sun is setting right now. I actually gotta get going. And I'm just telling myself, I just wanna be 0.5% better than I was before. Get 0.5% better shots than I've ever gotten of myself before. Get out there, see what I can do that's unique and creative and can challenge myself. It's the small steps that brings you to where you wanna be. And I know the where you wanna be line is ever changing. You get there and then you just wanna be better after that. But that's what's fun about this process. You get to grow and learn forever. So I'm gonna finish up this video. I gotta get out there. 
and let's see what comes of it. Doing the best that I can. That's all that I can do. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, pardon the extreme sun in my eyes. <laughs> uh, but one thing I definitely need to get better at in uh, my entire creative process is location scouting. I do not do enough prep of that. I really don't do any. Um, and then I always find myself in this moment of like the sun setting. I want to go to a place that is beautiful and want to capture this footage. And then I, I don't know where to go. And I waste a lot of time trying to, to search when the moment is key. But yeah, so this is something I'm going to note for the future is I should definitely go out and spend some days where I literally location scout and find places in which I want to film cool things at. Uh, because I haven't done that adequately in the past before. So that's a thought. Yeah, so speaking of location scouting, there's this beautiful location that I'm at right now, but it's technically someone's property. And I never know what's okay. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, guys. It's hard to know what's okay and what's allowed and where to film as well, because I don't want to just be creeping around someone's property without their permission. So, um, that's the struggle. That's where I'm at. And there's a lot of hills here and there's a lot of trees that block the sun. So, I have to find an area in which I can get the most out of the sun. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to find that. See? All right, yeah, see, I thought I found a good place, and here I am on private property. Authorized personnel only, having to make, like, a ten-point turn to get out of here. <laughs> ah! This is a struggle. When is it not? There's some beautiful vineyards right here. I wonder if I'm allowed in. This is, like, a private gate. Okay, this was the beautiful location I was looking at, but I don't know that I'm allowed to be here, so I'm not going to risk it because there's a gate and I don't want to get locked in. But this is what I was looking at. I might be happy with my patience. I just found like the most open field ever in which it looks like I can maybe film and not get in trouble. It's go time. It is go time. All right. the sun it went behind the mountain before i got like any shots so now we're gonna see what we can do with <laughs> the afterglow the after sunset you saw my tripod break twice on me it's the life it's the life <laughs> necessarily go the way I wanted it to uh, but it was beautiful you can see how beautiful it is back there I'm just getting in my car because I want to make sure I stay safe and uh, I mean it's pretty dark out here and it might seem like there's a lot of light but there's not a lot of light so uh, you can yeah it's dark but we did some other creative things I got some self portraits I hardly ever do that so that's kind of fun what's up guys this is me three weeks later coming back to the creative process episode that i was never able to release because you know what 
life happens and that's where i'm at right now i didn't even get a chance to respond back to your comments on my last video which is what this creative process episode is based on um, but i just want to say thank you um i didn't even get the chance to read them all yet that's just where i'm at right now and uh, but i mean everything i say always and thank you for your patience with me and i'm so excited to um, continue on this journey with you and so appreciative of your support always thank you thank you thank you thank you um and it's really fun to ride this wave even with this creative process episode you know what i just want to reiterate and kind of hang on the theme of what i've been saying in this creative process episode these episodes that i'm even producing i would love to make the best text graphics the best storytelling uh, make you super excited to go watch the video that i created off of this and i don't think that this video is going to necessarily do that um and i think that's that's like cool that's okay uh because i'm learning where my effort needs to go uh i can't make everything perfect and a creative process episode doesn't require my absolute perfection in storytelling because that's not the point of it and and i will never pursue the other things i want to pursue if i spend so much time on this and so I'm gonna put it out there as it is. And if you watched it and I helped you, that's awesome. That's so exciting. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I also just wanna say and encourage you that it will get better. This too shall pass. Um, and yeah, life is life. Life is crazy sometimes and life is hard sometimes, but it always passes. Keep community around you and uh, yeah, cool. Anyway. Try not to make this one longer, and here I am adding two more video, two more minutes to an already long video. I need to stop. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I said that backwards. Bye, guys. <laughs>